Hello, welcome back to Operation Crypto. Today we will be taking a look at IOTA. We're we'll going to have a look at some of the basic fundamentals of a project, some key statistics, we're we'll have a look at some chart analysis and, and see where we can potentially go in the future. So if you are interested in that, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and let's crack on. So let's start off on the IOTA website, and IOTA is not actually a blockchain, it is, as it says, a tangle, so this is an open, fearless and scalable distributed ledger designed to support frictionless data and value transfer. Moving down we can get a bit of a breakdown of everything what is involved here, so next generation data and value exchange. IOTA is the first distributed ledger built for the internet of everything. A network for exchanging value and data between humans and machines. Designed entirely without fees. No blocks, no miners. When you send an IOTA transaction, you validate two other transactions. This allows IOTA to overcome the cost and scalability limitations of blockchain. So IOTA is a backbone of IOT. The IOTA network is built for the internet of things with tamper-proof data, fearless microtransactions and low resource requirements. So this enables the machine economy, so IOT is posed to play a central role in the next industrial revolution, enabling economic relationships between machines and the bridging human and machine economies. So here we have the Tangle and this is what the IOT network is. So the Tangle is IOT's network, it immutably records the exchange of data and value and ensures that the information is trustworthy and cannot be tampered with or destroyed. And then we have a, another further breakdown of what it actually is. So it's highly scalable, increased network activity, decreases transaction settlement times, low resource requirements, designed for devices such as sensors to participate in low energy network. That's, that's a, a key factor, low energy, as in, you know that Bitcoin itself costs a hell of a lot to mine and and the network is very slow and that's what that aims to achieve and, and, and bring that cost down. Zero fee transactions, so send one cent, receive one cent, send a million and also receive a million, that's what we want as well. We need low fees and in pretty much zero fees is what we want as well. If you're talking about your, your bank and you're transferring a million dollars from me to America, it, it'd be in the thousands of dollars and, and it takes five days whereas this is, is a lot quicker. So fast transactions, out of transactions are confirmed within a minute, not five working days like banks try and do is over with. Optional quantum robustness, where the winter int signatures out is resilient to the next generation of computing and decentralized, a global distributed network, IOT is resilient and robust against attacks. Let's just take a quick look over the token. So connecting the human and machine economies. The IOT token is a powerful tool for value transfer among humans and machines. It is a new token for a new economy. The IOTA Foundation created the IOTA token to solve real world challenge. Uh, and that challenge is how do you allow humans and devices to chain, to exchange data and services in a future economy. So we have fair distribution. With this bold vision, it was important for the IOTA token to be created fairly. There was no lock tokens, no early corporate investors, and no tokens were awarded to founders. Reasonable funding, so roughly $500,000 was raised from a crowdfunding in 2015. That just shows you the, the time they've been around and are still going at it. That's why it's one of the, one of the top projects currently. Um, to ensure the sustainability of a project, 5% of the tokens were donated by the community to support the foundation. A non-profit foundation, so IOTA is a non-profit organisation. This gives the IOTA token more trust and value. It ensures we can achieve our mission, uh, vision of creating an open source standardized protocol for world to use. It's designed for the long haul. The old token is a powerful digital asset. There are no miners nor stakers. This means value and data can be transacted without any fees. And it said at the beginning, we have zero fees. And that, that's um, a great thing to have on a network, zero fees. That's it's very, um, a lot of people will be interested in that. And then enabling a variety of use cases, no other digital asset can. So let's take a look on CoinMarketCap and I'll look at some of the key stats. So IOTA, which is 
M-I-O-T-A, Myota. It's currently ranked 24 out of all cryptocurrencies. Coin price, just hanging around 24 cents, slightly up on the day's um, trading. Market cap, $672 million. Has been a lot higher than that, as we'll see soon. And then a maximum supply, which is the same as the circuit by all tokens are in circulation. And that's just um, just over 2.7 billion. Scrolling down, we have a chart here, and you can see back in 2017, this was part of that bull run that we had, and we'll have a look at the charts in a minute and um, see what price it actually went up to. Just to run over again, IOTA, so it is a distributed ledger for the internet of things that uses DAG instead of a conventional blockchain. It's quantum proof protocol, Tangle, reportedly brings benefits like zero freeze, infinite scalability, financial transactions, and secure data transfer. What we're interested in looking at here is the all time high. So in December 2017, May 19th, it hit $5.69, and we're currently trading at, at 24 cents, so that's, um, that's a fair way off yet. Yeah. Um, just looking at the market pairs and see whereabouts it's trading. So 14% of the trading is getting done over on Binance against the US dollar. OKEX is up there. So you can see it's on some, some massive exchange. These are the top 10, uh, some of the best exchanges around. And as we can see, it's probably listed on a lot of exchanges. Yeah, 53 plus and it, the main bulk is getting done on the biggest exchanges around. So you could say, what's we got? 20, we, we've got at least 50% on the top five exchanges there, which is great to know. So let's take a look over the charts here, and um, I'm just going to first look at IOTA Ethereum chart because this one goes back um, pre-2017. All the, the dollar charts and the BTC on trading view are not going back to back to those times. So I just want to show you what actually happened in the, the bull run. So we'll take the price range, and towards the end of December, um, November is when it started, and a lot. This is what happened with a lot of coins. This is fairly subtle compared to some, and some of them went up thousands of percent, but as you can see, the IOTA over the space of, of that monthly period, it went up 725% in that bull run, and that's only when it gets into the, the Ethereum chart, um, and that's when it hit its all-time highs of over five dollars. It was so. Let's um, let's now take a look at the that Binance chart. Yep. So here we have the IOTA Tether chart on Binance, and we're able to get a bit of a structure from this and, and see what what can potentially happen in the future. And um, so what are we on here? How far does that go back? That goes back to the last year. So what I want to do is draw some, some key levels on here and, um, and just have a look where some price action could be. So it looks like we've got a bit of key level here. Yeah, as you can see, it acted as um, support there. It broke through, support again, support there. Resistance, broke through, and then it came back down. We're currently sitting on a little bit of a resistance here. If we add another level in, just clone that and get a few, maybe one a bit higher, one a little bit lower. So as you can see, there's one there. So we acted as resistance again here, resistance. Broke through, acted as support, and then it's broke through again. Let's just get that level, and then possibly one more a little bit lower. Let's just clone that, and then see what we have a little bit lower down here. Err... Uh, We'll take that bit there because it's acted as a little bit of support and it did over around there. So that will do for now. Um, so if you look at this, this is what's going on with Bitcoin at the minute. It has been since I'm taking that's 30 for March. Yep. So we, the yearly lows, and that's when Bitcoin was at around three thousand dollars plus three thousand five hundred maybe. Uh, I think that's when that CME gap was created, and it has been constantly going up ever since. And we are due to come back down, um, in my opinion. So let's have a look at some levels where we could potentially go. If we put the wick on there. So we are currently, what are we trading at? 25 cent we are currently trading at. Um, and these are some levels we should be looking at to get in. The, the Fibonacci is a great way of, of looking at some levels. Like the 19 cent is bang on some daily resistance there. And you would expect something like this to happen if it, if it's going to come down it would you'd think bounce off there and then again possibly shoot back up and and hit that level before coming down again um but yeah i don't hold any personally but that could be a good level to get in it there 
there is potential if Bitcoin keeps dropping that we could hit further down and and possibly even wick down some of these levels again. But we, we really need to see what's gonna what's gonna happen with Bitcoin. In so for the future, it's quite a um, it's quite an unknown really because five dollars seventy nine it's, it's a long long way from here. And I mean, it could happen again. We have not experienced above and now for. Is it coming up to three years, possibly longer? 2000, November 17, so that yeah, it'll be three years in November since we, we had a major bull run, and we are overdue one. But first, the price needs to correct, and it will do. And then once we, we do it, some of these levels down here, that I would expect it to shoot back up, and and hopefully some of these top coins are going to hit all time highs again, but we just need to wait and see. But um, yeah, that'll do it for today. That's just some, some basic analysis of what um what the project is and then some potential entry prices i'm not going to give a prediction long term but some of these all-time highs will be broken and and what's to say that iota's price will not be broken plus five dollars so it could even go up a lot higher but that will do it for today thank you very much for listening please make sure you, you like the video subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you next time